in the diagram shown the normal reaction force between 2 kg and 1 kg is okay so as we can see here that if uh, let us say you know that uh, 3 kg is going downwards then 2 kg will also go downwards and 1 kg will also go similarly upwards also it's going to be the same thing <clears throat> so therefore both all three 1 kg 2 kg and 3 kg all of them will be going together okay so now let us see what is the uh, downward force okay by mg so mg is going to be 6 kg into 10 meter per second square which is 60 newtons and in this direction this becomes 60 into sine 30 which is 30 newtons so therefore if we see uh, 30 newtons force is in the downward direction which is along the inclined plane so therefore the net force is going to be in this direction 60 minus 30 minus 18 which is going to be uh, 48 so this is 12 newtons so since this is 12 newtons so therefore combinedly they will be moving with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square now the question is the reaction force between 2 kg and 1 kg so let us draw the free body diagram of 1 kg okay so this is uh, n this is 18 newton this is mg which is 10 newtons and in this direction this is going to be mg sine 30 degree so therefore 10 into half which is equal to 5 newtons now 1 kg also is moving with 2 meter per second square acceleration so therefore we can write here equation is m minus 18 minus 5 should be equal to um, m a 1 kg into 2 meter per second square so therefore n minus 23 should be equal to 2 so therefore n is equal to 25 newtons so therefore a is going to be the answer